So this is a video about arithmetic sequences that end up um, uh, uh, giving you a system of equations and this happens when uh, you have when you are given with two terms for example u3 and u8 two non-consecutive terms so u3 and u8 so you cannot find the common difference immediately so what you do is the following first of all you take u3 and u3 you you understand immediately that n equals 3 so you use the formula, and the formula we use is this, un equals u1 plus d times n minus 1, and we substitute on this formula. So let's do that. So we get, we know that u3 is 8, so 8 equals u1, that's our unknown, plus d, that's unknown again, and we have d times 3 minus 1. I'm going to write d on the other side, so I'm going to write 3 minus 1 times d. So basically I get 8 equals 1 u1 plus 2 d. Now, I'm going to do exactly the same thing for u8, which we know that n equals 8. So u8 is negative 17, so negative 17 equals u1 plus, again I'm going to write 8 minus 1 times d. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative 17 equals 1 u1 plus 7d. So these are two equations with two unknowns. The unknowns are u1 and d. And I'm going to do this using the calculator. So you go to apps. You find line simultaneous 2. It's the choice simultaneous equation solver. I have two unknowns and two equations, so I'm going to press next, which is the graph button, and I'm going to enter it. So 1 plus 2. Of course, I don't have d, I have x and y, and then equals 8. And the second one is 1 plus 7 this time. I have uh, negative 17. And then I press solve, and this is my answer. So my answer is that the first x, but for me is u1, so u1 equals 18, and d equals negative 5. And that's how you solve it. You will get um, uh, all the marks by doing this. So let's see another problem similar. So number 13, same thing. I'm going to do it a little faster this time. So I have u7 equals 41. So u7 equals um, uh, 41 gives me that. So for u7 I get that n equals 7. So I get 41 equals u1 plus 7 minus 1 times d. So I get 41 equals 1 u1 plus 6d. And for u13 where n equals 13 I get 77 equals u1 plus 13 minus 1 times d so that will give me 77 equals 1 u1 plus 12 d I get my two equations I'm going to go to my system and I'm going to find u1 and d so I'm going to show you a trick if I press this, the, the system button which is this one f3 I can go to my system, so 1 plus 6 equals 41, so I'm doing it quite fast, so 1 plus 12 equals 77, and when I solve, I find that u1 equals 5 and d equals 6, so the general form is this, un equals 5 plus n minus 1 times d S sorry plus 6 times n minus 1 and that could be your final answer or if you want to do more you can do un equals 5 plus 6 n minus 6 so you can say un equals 6 n minus 1 but everything is accepted let's do b 
same thing for B. Um, I have U5, so N equals 5, and I get negative 2 equals 1 U1 plus 5 minus 1 will give me 4D, so I'm doing it even faster now. And for U12, where N equals 12, I'm going to get negative 12 and 1 half equals 1 U1 plus 12 minus 1 gives me 11D. So I get my system here. So I'm going to go again, press system on my calculator. One stays the same, plus four. I get negative two. And then the second system, one plus 11 gives me, oh, to get this, I get alpha y2, the mixed fraction, which is negative 12 and one half press solve and I get my answer that is u1 equals 4 and d equals negative 3 half so the general form would be un equals u1 which is 4 plus d so it's not plus actually it's minus so minus 3 halves times n minus 1 and I would leave it as is okay so that's the same way how you do uh, the rest and let's do one more it says insert four numbers between 3 and 12 so that means that basically that could be my u1 so I have u2, u3, u4, u5 and this is u6 so I have u1 and u6 so let's do that for u1 I don't have to do anything, but I can do something for U6. U6 and equals 6. So I get U6, which is 12, equals U1, which is 3, plus 6 minus 1, which is 5D. Alright, so I can solve this now. In multiple ways so I can just subtract 3 from both sides so I can get um, 9 equals 5d so d equals 9 over 5 so this is this is it so the way to do it here also I could let me show you a couple of tricks here so second quick both time so math numeric solver so I'm going to write on the left side I'm going to write 12 and on the right side I'm going to write 3 sorry 3 plus 5x I'm going to solve it and I get 1 over 8 if I go let me show this is 1.8 sorry so if I write this number if I press x and enter I enter the 1.8 here I could have typed it so this is a fraction so so alpha y I can make it as a fraction is 9 over 5 and let me show you the first term is 3 I press enter plus uh, 9 over 5 which is 9 over 5 and I get 24 over 5 so that's my u2 so u2 equals 24 over 5 and then I just press enter and I find the next term 33 over 5 then the next one, 42 over 5. And then the next one, 51 over 5. And then the next one, 12, which is the one that we need to 6. So u1 equals 3. And u6 is 12. So I showed you a lot of calculator tricks uh, on this one. I showed you how to use the simultaneous solver. I showed you how to use the numeric solver. And I showed you how to uh, uh, find terms using the mainstream of the calculator.